Welcome to Math Wino. Calculate 5 to the power of 5, then times 4 to the power of 7. How do we do it? Okay, before solving it, I have to write it down again and I'm going to teach you, I'm going to show you how should we do this kind of questions in general. 5 to the power of 5 and then times 4 to the power 7. Before solving it, I have two steps for you. The first step is we have to know this or we have to pay attention. Look, the basis. There are two bases in all this question. In all this question, the first base is 5, the second base is 4. My question is, are there any relationships between them? Maybe not, but we think 5 then times 4 is 20. It's a very nice number for us. Maybe it's a little useful, isn't it? Because 20 is an integer time of 10. 20 is 2 times 10. So there are little relationship between 5 and 4. Then we have to notice, we have to pay attention. The exponents. The exponents, 5 and 7. Now we have to notice, we have to pay attention, their subtractions. 7, the minus 5 is 2. 5 and 7, they are quite nearly. So I think 5 times 4 is 20, and 5, I think I can spare the 5 from the 7. Because 7 can be written as 5 then plus 2. Okay, I'll do it in this way. We have done the two steps thinking and solve it happily. Here we begin. My first step is I want to spare the 5 from the 7, this exponent 7. So the first step, I just write the 7 into 5 then plus 2. Here I have a formula a to the power b plus c is equal to a to the power b and then times a to the power c. So the next step is 5 to the power 5, steal this, and 4 to the power 5 plus 2. Now a is 4, b is 5, c is 2. So it is a to the power b, 4 to the power 5 and then times a to the power c, 4 to the power 2, that is 4 squared. Now we have to pay attention because 5 and 4, these two bases, they have the same exponents, that is 5. So I have to use another formula. This formula says a to the power b and then times c to the power b. It is equal to a times c first and all to the power b. So now, what should we do? Now a is 5, b is 5, c is 4, b is 5. That is 5 then times 4 and then all to the power the same exponent, that is 5. Here, 4 to the power 2. Okay, because this base, 5 then times 4 is 20. Here becomes 20. The base becomes 20. So it's 20 to the power 5 and then times 4 to the power 2. This 4, I can write it into 2 to the power 2. That is 2 squared. So this 4 to the power of 2 is 2 to the power of 4. And this 20, it can be written as, or it can be regarded as, 2 then times 10. So this 20 is 10 then times 2, also to the power of 5, and then times 4 to the power of 2 is 2 squared, and then all to the power of 2, because 4 is 2 squared. For next step, how to do this? 
10 and times 2, and then all to the power of 5. Use this formula. 10 then times 2, and then all to the power of 5 is equal to 10 to the power of 5, then times 2 to the power of 5. a to the power of b, then all to the power of c is equal to a to the power of b times c. That is, 2 to the power of 2 times 2 is 4. Now, I would like to multiply these two together. Ten to the power of five, and then times two to the power five, then plus four. Use this formula is nine. For the next step is ten to the power of five, then times two to the power nine. Two to the power of nine is five hundred twelve. Because here appears a 10 to the power of 5. So I think we should write it into scientific notation. So it is 5.12 and then times 10 to the power of 5. It becomes 10 to the power of 5 plus 2 is 7. So this is the final answer. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe my channel for more videos. Ring the bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.